Hello again. And uh, welcome back by Alessandro. And Abe. Uh, we left in the last episode with these, uh, with shape contours and mm -hmm. with these uh, nice, I, I, I like it. It's a <laughs> nice, nice idea. Um, so to, now we want to introduce uh, a nice thing you can do with shape contours, in particular with piece. I mean, these are uh, uh, from built from segments. We can mm -hmm. smoothen things a bit yeah. to make it... Um, yeah. what, what I'm going to do is make it again from points. Mm -hmm. uh, so we go to these points. Uh, we don't need this. And we're going to get rid of the nice mm -hmm. w witness variation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we can yeah, draw a contour. Uh, it's called SC. Mm -hmm. So there. Nice. Uh, I'll make it thick again. Yeah. Uh, so there is a way that we can basically interpolate or eliminate the, the cusps mm -hmm. in, uh, in the contour generated. And it's almost too easy. It's almost too easy, yes. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> we should have some yeah. music and or hobby something. And uh, hobby is a person, <laughs> as far as I understand. Done. <laughs> yeah, it's not... Done. Okay, so we, you can see that now the piecewise linear curve has been smoothened. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and yeah, it's a very nice doodle. Like yeah. let's call it like this. Yeah. But now we can use like, and the hobby curve re returns a shape contour. That's what IntelliJ says. Mm -hmm. But now we can show maybe how we can sample points mm -hmm. from curves. Okay, we can one approach. We can just sample one point. Mm -hmm. uh, so we could ask. On this uh, curve, I oh know I need a variable first. Position is give me a position. Mm -hmm. For example, position at thirty percent of mm -hmm. the length of right. Yeah, and then I can just draw that as a circle. Uh, draw a circle position, mm -hmm. uh, big circle there. Uh, who knows where it is? Maybe it's outside of the yeah, screen. Yeah, maybe it's outside of the screen. I'll who just knows? hit. Uh, I'll make it at least a different color. I feel ah white. Um, Here it is. Well, that's the thirty okay. percent. So maybe the points uh, you can even draw. Okay, distance to the edge. No, all right, that's it. Uh, in case it's out of the screen, we could just animate it. Yeah. So then we can see. Do you think I can just use seconds? Or should I use modulo one? Uh, I think you should use modulo one in this case. Modulo I one. I have the feeling that you, yeah. And this is very fast. This okay. Is very fast. Notice, <laughs> notice something very interesting. Um, c uh, maybe reduce a bit the speed because yeah. I'm, tr I'm trying to follow. The thing. <laughs> <laughs> so notice something very interesting. The the point is not moving at constant speed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's that's something to remember when you use the percentage or you know the parameter of a parametrizing the mm -hmm. curve one mathematically would say. Yeah. So this number has to do with velocity. Yeah. It doesn't have to do with length. You okay. know, I know why it happens. The, mm -hmm. the reason is that when you specify here a value mm -hmm. of for t, mm -hmm. and the first thing it does is choose which of the segments mm -hmm. is af uh, are you at. Mm -hmm. And and you have long segments and short segments. Exactly, yeah. exactly, yes. Yeah. yes. So then... then it's going to take the same amount of time to travel through the long segment and the short mm -hmm. segment. Mm -hmm. So then you get this irregular speed. Yes. But we have another method which fixes that, no? Position, position at length. At, is it position at length? I think it's... Uh, uh, or we have to find that. <laughs> I thought there was something like that. Maybe it's in the segment? Only? Maybe it's in the segment. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe it's in the segment. Uh, what we can do is, is to uh, compute sample. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or a sample equid equidistantly, or another trick maybe is to. Ah, there's point at length here. Point at length, yes. But yeah. this will retire. Yes, this will. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, ah, length. <laughs> so it's not ah, seconds right. and not modulo one. Yes. I don't know if this will give any different result, but now we are actually working in units, mm -hmm. in pixels, not But then you have to module by the length yeah. of the curve, right? Or go out of space. <laughs> or go out of space, yes. Uh, yeah, no motion. Interesting. Like, try, try, try like 50. No? Okay. Oh. That's very interesting. <laughs> For the length. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't do that. Ah, maybe are are we at the end? 
Ah, it could be. So really, we should then do a modulo length. What yes. is uh, S C dot length? Yes. Uh, it is moving, no? Is it? Moving? I think it's moving very, very, very slow. Okay. Oh. Of course, it moves one pixel per second. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now it's 10 pixels per yes. second. Yes, and now it moves at constant speed. Now it moves at constant uh -huh. speed. Now it's out. Now it's out. <laughs> by, by little thing. Okay, but uh, forget about things for a second, uh, things moving along the curve, mm -hmm. which is actually a very nice thing to do. Yeah. Um, we can also sample points mm -hmm. um, at the same distance from each other. Right. Uh, curve points. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a C dot. What is it? Sample. Equi it's equidistant, I think. Sample it's equidistant. The, not uh, sample equidistant. I think it's equidistant whoa. positions. We can, we can do also this one. This, but will, this will return a curve, a uh, shape contour. It doesn't return a point. Ah, points. you're right. Yes. So? Equidistant, what? I think it's called. Equidistant yeah. Equidistant positions. Position. Uh, and then you give a, a number integer. of points. Yeah. And points. this gives you, this returns a list of vectors too. So instead of this animation now, we will draw circles mm -hmm. at curve posi points, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And whoa. Oh. <laughs> Let's make them a bit smaller. Yes. Uh. This is very cool. Yes. Uh. This is super cool when you want uh, uh, points that are equally spaced mm -hmm. on the curve. There. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now what we can do, actually, we can query or we can obtain the normal yeah. to the curve at various points. I want to make it hairy. <laughs> uh, but I think if I remember correctly, we uh, to get the normal, you have to give it um, uh, a percentage and not mm -hmm. the, okay. the length, right? Right. So we have to basically, I would suggest that we create, we query, Mm -hmm. At uh, with the length with sorry, uh, what do I want to say? Um, we have to convert. The... We have to convert, but if you if you do it uh, equally spaced in the percentage, mm -hmm. it's not gonna be equally spaced on the curve. We can try. Yeah, let's try. Let's do this. Okay. We can first just add like these hairs, even if they don't match the yeah, real exactly, circles. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Just to show, actually, yeah. just to show that they are not equally spaced. Okay, very <laughs> okay. cool. Very cool. Uh -huh. So let's create two hundred points uh... to two hundred, you know, spacing values. Should we create just a point or we can little segments or line segments? Line segments, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Sex is list of 200. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we want to convert this IT yeah, we will into do, yeah. uh, well, 200. So this is number. Or we can use 199 if yeah. we want to. From 0 to 1. Well, from 0 to 1. Yeah. Okay. Now we want the normal of the yeah. curve. That's normal at t. Mm -hmm. so and now we want a line segment mm -hmm. from the point at t. We need the point at t first. Line. Oh, okay, we want to get the point at the t. P. Yeah. Uh, where's the p? Is sc position. Position exactly. At t. Mm -hmm. And then we create this line segment mm -hmm. that is going to go from p to p plus. Normal times, times, I don't know, yeah. 15. Yeah. What am I doing here? So we are querying different points. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the P points. And the normal is uh, like a vector 2, the mm -hmm. points perpendicular. Mm -hmm. to and it's just a direction. You, we yeah. need to tell it yeah. where yeah. to start. It's normalized. So that's why I multiply by 15 to make it a mm -hmm. bit longer. Now we just draw those segments. Drawer uh, segment, no, line segments, no, line segments. Uh, six, and that's it. <laughs> nice. You can see <laughs> that they don't coincide yeah. with the uh, points, right? Uh, yeah, it's totally revealing here. You can see actually the segments. Yes. Like some have high density, others yeah. have. So when the curve, when the, like somehow, when the shorter segments are there, you can see mm -hmm. that they, they, there is higher density of these segments. Mm -hmm. When they are longer, mm -hmm. it goes longer. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, 
do we fix this or like so to match it or we can fix it by instead of you know having equally spaced t mm -hmm. having equally spaced length okay and so we query we have to query at length is there a position at length or something or uh, it's the thing we, oh, we just point at length no point at length mm -hmm. uh and, and so we can multiply maybe t times the length times the length uh, the length of the segment of the yeah of the, the contour sorry. yes but then now the normal will not be the correct one yeah. right now the points are right but the normals are pointing a bit off yes yeah it's interesting mm -hmm. and i don't know if we can query uh, fix this to have the normals point in the right direction uh, uh, because the point is that you know the length and t i think there is a way because you said you can query this matrix out of the yeah, curve, yeah, yeah, yeah. but the maybe pose. Pose. maybe we should leave that for the future yes we can leave that for the future but i mean this is just to show that these two things are different in this world yeah okay yeah but you can still get interesting like uh things actually we can maybe if we move this section to extend Mm -hmm. We can rotate these uh, normal a bit. Uh huh. Okay. So we, what do we move the segment? Everything? Yes. We no no no. The the, the curve points is okay outside. Okay. But val segs we move it into extend. Mm -hmm. And then n, we can apply uh, uh, dot rotate. Uh huh. Okay. So dot rotate oh, interesting and we can make it oscillate with uh, either a sine function or whatever i mean do you think and what does it return also a vector? yeah ah, it's rotating oh so cool it's very cool no <laughs> yeah <laughs> the dancing <laughs> lines yes uh, we could even add an offset to the rotation yes that depends on t t uh like this and then we can even increase the offset. Yeah. So then, no, even more. Uh, <laughs> yes. More rotation. I oh, know it's not really. Well, maybe I have to use a very high number. A what? Eh? Uh, I just wanted that. It, ah, right. That there because is because more, it's. Uh, I wanted that there is a more extreme rotation, but I yeah. don't see the effect. I, I think it's here in thirty. You have to. What is the speed of yeah, rotation? Yeah, that's, that's only the speed. So what, what, ah, you wanted to oh. see the difference. I wanted that it rotates, or the, that they're not so similar one to the neighbor. Ah, okay. Uh, but I don't see... Ah, now it starts... Maybe it really has to be a very large number. Or, or a very... Because T goes from 0 to 200, right? Ah. So if no, you, no, T is from 0 to 1. Ah, T is from 0 to 1. Okay, so yeah. it has to be a very large number then. Yeah. To start seeing... Uh, well... Yeah. Yeah. Fun. It's okay. A lot of airy, <laughs> airy things. Fun. Yeah. Um, I think one, one of the, another thing that we can uh, show mm -hmm. is um, how to, um, this thing that we were saying, like we take a square and we modify the segments. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, Should we do it in the next one? We can show, we can do it in the next one. So what we, did we see? In this one, we saw hobby curve, which hobby is curve. something that is very nice to use. Yeah. How to reason a bit with uh, um, percentage and distance mm -hmm. on uh, on the curve. How to uh, ask for points mm -hmm. on the curve and uh, normals. Yeah. At a given, uh, at a given normals, point. yeah, get the yeah, points. And then we saw also, okay, how to rotate vectors. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But, we can wrap this up, and in the next one, we'll come with more um, things about shape contours. Yeah, shape contours. See you there. Take care.